All right, we're setting out for our maiden voyage on the kayaks. We've got the boats in the water. Here we go. We've got a uh, fish bite spike club and we've got a half ounce spro for our lures today. All right, here we go. Our first launch. Let me, let me let Braden go because he's splashing me. So buddy, once you get in the middle here, you should be able to drop your... I mean, we're already, we're already deep, so you could do it now. Yep. Are you able to put your uh fish this is pretty cool we've waited a long time to get these kayaks no Braden I want you to watch me fish man we're hung up already Takes some getting used to. Let's see if we can catch a fish today. Be pretty awesome. really dirty today. Today, guys, be patient with us. Here? Yeah, man, start fishing. Our first impressions pretty nice this is a game changer getting off the bank I think we're gonna catch something in here just a matter of time trying to figure out the right place to cast get close to this structure not get too close to those weeds it's a different style of fishing for us Ooh, ooh. Man, 
we're gonna catch something here, buddy. Just need them to get the hook. Cause they're all getting oh, my, yeah, I'm starting to get it. Tearing up my paddle tail. It dropped straight back down right here. There's probably a bunch of fish down there. Just waiting on Big Daddy. Oh, I'm on. Come on, buddy. Next time I get the hit like that, I'm setting this hook. Yeah, I might need to drop down bait again. We're going to catch something here. That's going to be spectacular. Man, I'm still waiting to set the hook, but nothing's really gulping this. This might be too big for the fish here. Oops. to like that smaller fish bites one this one could be just too big what you got now I'm gonna get a catfish one. it's gonna be those you see look look right by my line no yeah. no I, mean, I don't know what it is but it's bigger than that I can promise you that all right guys we're fishing near a dock and my paddle tail is getting ripped to shreds by something. Yeah, they just tore off my tail. Braden, I told you, bud. Yet. Well, we've gotten bites. Your line's currently out? Nope, I'm changing bait. thing. I really don't want to catch this. He's got something around his belly. I don't want to be catching guards, but I could have helped him out. Braden, I had about a two and a half foot gar on this thing. Really? Yep. That'd be a fun fight. Yeah. He he had it in his mouth, but the hook wasn't set. He probably cut you off though. That gar also had something around his body, like uh, some type of tube. Oh. If I could have caught him, I could have helped him out. All right, we're going to be wrapping up day one on the water. 
Uh, you guys might notice that I don't have a hat. Uh, I think 30 minutes into our trip, Braden had a line out and, and I went over it. So I had a braided line through my prop. And as I attempted to fix it, uh, I had to cut line. And obviously I was cutting Braden's line, so I was able to get his lure back. But um, he asked me to tie his lure back on his line. I did. And uh, I reached forward to this uh, new rod holder we got in place. And as I did, I felt myself leaning and I couldn't catch myself um, flipped. Flipped to the left. Luckily, I had my life jacket on. But as soon as I went over, I had Braden's rod and reel and my, my paddle came off. So I had the rod and reel in my hand and the paddle. I was in, un, under the water and this is kind of murky water I've never been in this water before not to say I was scared you know but initially when you go underwater and you didn't expect it you just got to gather yourself and then uh, figure out what's going on so I, I was able to pass my paddle and rod and reel to Braden and reflect on some of the training we did in the pool yesterday and reflip my kayak uh, and then climbing up here was a bit awkward. I got the GoPro on. I had these Bubba pliers on my lap and I think I smashed the case for the pliers. Luckily, I didn't lose my GoPros, but I did lose my favorite rod and reel combo. It was a 4500 Spin Fisher. Uh, you know, but we're okay. It just sucks losing rods and reels. I do have some leashes ordered or on the way. I uh, didn't expect to flip the kayak today, but that's what happened. Uh, we're learning baby steps as I posted yesterday with uh, getting my son in the pool, getting him trained up on how to handle things, and lo and behold, I was the one that flipped the kayak first. But we know it's going to happen. Uh, that's one reason why we're in shore today, just trying to get a feel for things. And I learned if I lean too far, you got to compensate for that really quick or you're going over. I, I didn't know what the roll rate was on this. I guess I do now. So I think what I'm going to do is move that rod holder back. It doesn't need to be as far forward. I mean, if I got to move that much weight in order to get to it, it's not in a good spot anyway. But lost the hat, lost my favorite rod and reel. But I think that's it. Um, did dunk my new GoPro. That I'm talking to you guys on now. Hopefully it's okay. It's making kind of funny noises as I turn it on and off, but we'll give it a good rinse when we get home and we should be all right. But we uh, threw some artificials under docks and we got some bites. I don't think it was anything big. Nothing really ate our lures per se, but a lot of nibbles. So first day, what do you say, Brayden? Was it a success? Braden, I guess, is today was a success. I think it was a success. Beautiful day. We flipped our kayak. We recovered. Lost a rod and reel. Lost my old beach buzz hat. That's all right. I got more. But this should be a lot of fun. Different type of fishing. I'm going to need to keep studying up and refining our technique for inshore. This is a lot different than surf fishing. But... Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys on the beach.